so this is part two of my 4L60E slash 700R4 transmission rebuild. Uh, in this video I'm going to take apart the gear train inside the transmission. This is me uh, removing the input drum assembly. Um, I found that the band was actually, the band that goes around the drum assembly was actually fused to it, which made it difficult to take out. Here you see me prying off the band with a screwdriver so that I can get take out this assembly. Band is toast. Uh, now I'm taking out the anchor pin for the uh, band, which was surprisingly hard to take out. I usually don't have to hammer them out. Separating the two assemblies. This is the uh, reverse input drum. Taking out the snap ring that holds the the uh, clutches and steels. There we go. Taking out the clutches and steels. This is what they look like. This, uh, there's a special tool for compressing this spring, but I don't like to buy a special tool, so I just push down on the spring, the spring with one long screwdriver and pry out the snap with the other one. And uh, it seems to work. I got scared there when it popped up. It seems to work. I don't want to buy the special tool. It's like 80 bucks, so. Okay, so now we take out the spring assembly and then we have the reverse input piston. I'm looking at the seals around the piston. They look new. I've, I found that this transmission has already been rebuilt before. So um, I'm looking and seeing that the seals are, they look new. This is uh, the input drum assembly. Taking out the snap ring. Uh, sometimes snap rings are annoying to take out. Just get a screwdriver behind them and pry them out. This this snap ring actually has burn marks all over it. I don't know if you could see that. I kind of yeah. These are the three four clutches and seals. These are definitely these toast. These are burnt up. <laughs> and you can hear me saying that. The seals are actually show heat marks as well. Sometimes it's hard to tell if a clutch is burnt or if it's a high energy disc. If it's, they have high energy frictions that are dark green and uh, it's hard to tell. So this is me taking out the next snap ring uh, for the forward clutch. That is the forward, uh, the overrunning clutches the sprag assembly and the forward clutch. So, on the smaller side of the sprag, there are two steels. So this like is this. me uh, telling on myself the side, how it goes back together on the camera, just so I don't forget. There are, and these. I think these are good. See, it's hard to tell if they're high Check energy the or if they're direction burnt. Direction of the sprag. The sprag should only turn in one direction and lock into the other. That's what I was doing just just there. Uh, here, this is me uh, taking out the snap ring on another spring assembly by the same way, pushing down on with one screwdriver and prying with another one. And it's coming. This one kind of took a little longer. You would never know because I cut it. <laughs> I 
Yeah, that one kind of jumped out of it. There it is. They got the spring assembly and the piston. Uh, just s tap the, the whole assembly on, onto the ground or something to get everything out. It wasn't really working. I didn't really get a good shot of it coming out because I turned the camera off and then it came out, so... That's everything. Uh, that's the... Clutch apply ring and the... Uh, forward clutch housing, forward clutch housing. Uh, the piston for it. Taking out the last part, which is the 3-4 clutch piston. Checking it to see if it has any debris or anything on it. It looks good. Here is just me inspecting the input drum. Looking for any burrs or... Uh, that is, there's three, be three check balls in there, as you can see. And uh, I'm looking at the shaft there. Making sure everything is in good shape. And then here is me uh, air checking this assembly to make sure there's the oil feed passages aren't obstructed in any way. So a lot of holes to check. Okay, uh, this is me taking out the front sun gear. Uh, that this snap ring was real, real annoying to get out. I had to go to a transmission shop to have them take it out, just because I didn't have the the pliers to get in there. Uh, but it wasn't a big deal. They did, they did no problem. <coughs> this is uh, me taking out the front planet assembly. Uh, always inspect the pinion gears and see if they have any rocking back and forth whenever you take out a planetary assembly. Just inspect the whole thing. Uh, here's the front ring, ring gear. Again, inspect it. This is uh, the sun shell. This is a really common failure point of uh, these transmissions. These splines that I point to often strip or that whole flange breaks off. So I recommend replacing it even if it's fine in, in a rebuild. Uh, this is the rear sun gear. And uh, taking out the output shaft from the back. There's the output shaft. Uh, removing the snap ring. This one was kind of annoying. I had to get in there with a screwdriver and a pick. But eventually it came out. <coughs> uh, this is me removing uh, the Sprague race. If you bang on the back, put the alpha shaft back in and bang on the back of it, and it will push out the uh, this uh, assembly right here. Okay, here are the low reverse clutches, along with the rear planet, and uh, these uh, these clutches are completely smoked. I mean. Some of them, the friction material has completely burned away. He must have been pulling every something way too heavy. This is an anti-clunk spring. You you need to make sure this goes back in. Uh, if you don't do it, if you don't put it back in, you'll have a clunk when your transmission downshifts. Uh, again, always inspect the pinion gears on the planet assembly. <clears throat> and then we have the rear ring gear that comes out. Alright, well, thanks for watching, you guys. Proceed to part three.